Welcome to the first part of this tutorial, this Dynamo tutorial. Um, this is um, the first section. I'm going to make a grid um, of a points inside Dynamo that's going to be a basis for a roof structure of adaptive components and structural framing that have mathematically defined uh, shape. So after starting Dynamo, um, I'm going to introduce a couple of integer sliders. Um, these are going to be the uh, extents of the roof the roof structure, I'm going to call these X and Y, uh, representing X and Y direction of the rectangular, a rectangular roof. Using a watch node, um, I can easily see what kind of output these different nodes produce and wiring them together to produce a point that you can control G to uh, maneuver in the 3D preview background and, and check out. Um, next up, we are going to make a series of numbers um, that are going to represent the different X and Y uh, coordinates for each point in the grid. Uh, you can see I use a code block um, to, to do this and um, a syntax that um, I'm going to use several times in these tutorials. Um, the code blocks you make by uh, double clicking in the, in the canvas inside Dynamo. Right-clicking on the point by coordinates and chasing lacing to cross product will produce your uh, final grid of points. Next up, I'll um, um, produce some math that will calculate the ratio between the x and y, um, the widths and lengths of the of the of the roof. And this is to work out different resolutions in the different directions. Uh, this way, um, you can have uh, a, a, an equal size um, uh, between the points in, in each direction. As you can see now, you have pretty uniform grid of, of, of points. And um, you saw also that you can copy copy code from between code blocks. Um, that's a really, really powerful way of moving code and math between, between uh, code blocks and definitions. Flexing your parameters, you should be able to now change the size and, and spacing of the grid. Uh, 